Now, composite spring, when we use this term composite, it means we are trying to make the various types of arrangements of spring. Like we take a single spring, then we take two springs in parallel, or we can take two springs horizontally in series. So we have to go through with the various combinations of springs. This is what is the meaning of composite spring pendulum. So if a spring pendulum is made from two springs and a mass, following three situations are possible. So we are now coming towards the permutation and combination of the springs. So first of all in the figure, the series combination is indicated. We have found that K1 and K2, these are the spring constants of the individual springs and they are connected in series with a rigid support. The mass attached with the combination of K1 and K2 is capital M. Now, when we use the term restoring force, the restoring force is same. That is X will be equal to X1 plus X2. Means that X1 is the displacement due to K1 and X2 is the displacement due to K2. So the total displacement is X1 plus X2. Therefore, we use the equation of the uh, spring constant or we can say F is equal to KY. So we can say Y is equal to F over K. So here we are taking uh, X as minus F over equation of K. That is equal to for X1 and X2 we will compute minus F over K1 and minus F over K2. That is in accordance with the definition of displacement. Now we will add them so F will cancel off and negative sign will vanish and the net equation will become 1 over K that is 1 over spring constant equation that is equal to 1 over K1 plus 1 over K2. Now we take LCMs and simplify and we find the value of time period and time period will be given as 2 pi under root m over k. So we have taken as m and then above equation we have solved. So we have come to the conclusion that t is equal to 2 pi under root m into k1 plus k2 divided by k1 into k2. This formula we have worked out when k1 and k2 are in series. If we wanted to find the frequency of oscillation horizontally, we will take an inverse function that is n is equal to 1 over 2 pi and under root k1 k2 divided by m into k1 plus k2 because t and n are inversely related to each other. Now in the parallel combinations, the two figures are shown. One of the figure is b and other is c. So how exactly we uh, depict these two figures? So we are in, the, in the figure B, we find displacement X is same. Why? Because both the springs are arranged in parallels. So if we move the mass, it will be slightly stretched and that will be same. So displacement X will remain same. Or minus K equation into X, that is forces KY. Here we are taking X because it is a horizontal displacement. So it is minus kx, that is k equation. So we can write minus k1x minus k2x. Now we cancel off uh, the value of x from both sides. Minus sign is eliminated and the net function will become uh, the spring constant equation. k equ equation will be equal to k1 plus k2. So k equation is k1 plus k2. Now we know the value of the constant. Time period we know is 2 pi under root m over k. So t is equal to 2 pi under root m over the total spring constant. And we have added the two spring constant that is k1 plus k2. The same situation we will continue in figure c. That is displacement x is same because Again, K1 and K2 are in parallels. The reason being, we have to modify this figure and that will become in parallel. So we can again write the same situation and then the time period will be calculated. 
because f is f1 plus f2 then for f we put kx then for f1 we write minus k1x for f2 we write minus k2x then from the whole equation x will be eliminated and again the same function will come as uh, earlier um, in the figure b so t is equal to 2 pi under root m over k1 plus k2 if spring is cut into n equal pieces so suppose that the length of spring is l and there are n pieces so each piece has length l over n so we again continue if a spring is cut into n equal pieces then the force constant of each piece will become n times so what now we have done we have taken the two equations one is for k dash other is for k then the equation of k dash we make we make the equation of k then we divide the two values that is k dash over k so we compute their values and the net function will become l over l over n and l will cancel off and n will come in the numerator because k is inversely proportional to length so k dash will be n k so what is the value of k dash that will be n k because k is inversely proportional to length now if a body of mass m is suspended from one piece of the spring then the time period will be given as t dash equal to 2 pi under root m over n k and that is 2 pi under root m over k is replaced by t and then it is divided by under root n so the net value of t dash will become t over under root n and t is replaced by 2 pi under root m over k so it's a mathematical relation we have to understand it from mathematical point of view so spring is shown and l over n is the length of each part this is what mentioned that is there are n equal parts and each part is l over n mass is suspended and the weight is acting vertically down and when we stretch the weight downward or mass downward and then released the spring will indicate harmonic oscillations if all the n pieces are again joined in series and suspended with the same mass then time period will remain t that won't change if all n pieces are joined in parallel then equivalent spring constants will be so this is how we will calculate that is k eq that is the equation of k that will be nk plus nk plus nk repeated n times so we will take out n as common and within the bracket is 1 plus 1 plus 1 right up to 1 so we have applied here the geometrical progression and with the the sum of n terms of the geometrical expression so k eq will become n square k now time period we want to find time period is always given by 2 pi under root m over k and for k we will compute n square k so our net expression will become t is equal to 2 pi under root m over k eq or it is equal to 2 pi m over n square k basically it should be n into n k so it becomes n square k now we take the square root so what exactly we are getting that is 2 pi m over k is written as t and it is divided by n because the square root of n will be n when all n pieces are joined in parallels then the time period will become t over n so now three pieces are given each with part l over n l over n and l over m the mass suspended is the same 